welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and I'm excited to bring you another episode absolutely free. This episode is one of many released every month, totaling over 80 episodes so far. Each one is meticulously digitally restored and stored in the cloud for your convenience, a process that incurs costs. To help cover these expenses, you might hear some advertisements throughout the episode. While we do retain the original commercials for historical authenticity, you may also encounter modern ads, which help keep the lights on. If you prefer an ad-free experience, we offer a couple options. You can listen to the episodes on YouTube, where they don't include the audio ads, although YouTube may provide their own ads on their platform. Alternatively, you can also support us by becoming a patron on our Patreon page. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash donate. Again, otrwesterns.com slash donate. I do want to emphasize that we are committed to providing this content to you for free, but also we have to be transparent about the financial realities to bringing this to you. To those of you who are already supporting us, we extend our heartfelt thanks. Your contributions make it possible for us to continue doing what we love. And as a final note, I did want to mention one last thing. If you are paying for a service, let's say like Audible, and you're listening to this show on that site, they do not provide any financial or monetary means to this podcast. We provide it to them as a way for you to be able to listen, but they don't help us in any way. So again, thank you to everybody who's already supporting. And those of you who want to support us in the future, I deeply appreciate it. Now let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be Gunsmoke. Original air dates February 9th, 1958. And the title is The Jokes on Us. Let's get into it. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gun Smoke, presented by Army in Europe magazine, a monthly feature magazine for the use of a soldier and civilian. Gun Smoke. Starring William Conrad, the story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, but it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Bring his horse over here, Benson. Sure, Jake. And wait till we get him up on his horse before you tie that rope to Varl. There'd be too much slack otherwise. All right. We couldn't hang you very good with your feet touching the ground, could we, Tillman? No, Jake, you couldn't. We've been neighbors a long time, Tillman. If I could figure some way to make it easy for you, I'd do it. That's all right. You get to hang and I could put a bullet in you. I'd be beholden to you. Okay. I'll do it then. And would you drop by and tell my wife on your way home, Jay? Sure. I figured I'm doing that anyway. You know, I always liked you, Tillman. It's gone too bad about this. Sure. You're mighty calm for a man with a noose around his neck. You man got your mind made up. Well, we can't have no man stealing horses around here. None of us feel safe less than we've caught him and hung him. I reckon I'd feel the same way, Jake. Well, of course you would. You'd hang me just as fast if I'd done it. I would. Only difference is I'd want to be awful sure it was you that done it. Oh, well, I'm sure... Heck, we caught you red-handed, didn't we? I told you a hundred times. I found them horses running wild. I was driving them back to you. Now, tell me, you was headed in the other direction. They would got away from me. I was trying to turn them back. Excepting that we don't believe you. 
None of us do. Well, ask Jennings. He saw me rounding him up for you. Jennings ain't here. Well, why don't you find him? You can't take the time. You delay a hanging, the first thing you know, the man got loose. You'd have just encouraged horse thieving. Well, like I said, you got your minds made up. We gotta protect ourselves, Tillman. Here's his horse, Jake. Get mounted, Tillman. Sure. Okay, Duval. Take up the slack and tie it off around the tree trunk. Sure. Look out there, Jake. Someone's coming. Yeah, so they are. Let's get this done. We might have trouble. He's a long way off yet. We got time. You want to slap his horse, Benson? No, you do it, Jake. Okay. So long, Tillman. So long. Here No, thanks, ma'am. I'll stay out here. Just My husband ain't here, Jake. He's out on the prairie someplace. Yeah, I know. Wade's around, though. You want to see him? No. No, I want to see you. Me? What about? Uh, about your husband, Miss Tillman. Something's happened to him. Well, it was like this, ma'am. You know, me and Duval and Benson's been losing some horses lately. I heard. But Tillman ain't somehow... And when we caught him driving a bunch of mine this afternoon, we figured it was him who's been stealing them. I don't believe it. My husband's an honest man. Oh, I know that. Now, Jennings saw him rounding them up where he found them running wild on the prairie. I guess whoever stole them got scared and left them there. Where is my husband, Jake? That's what I want to explain to you, ma'am. Jennings come and told us about it. But he got there too late. Too late? We'd already hung him. Hung him? Yes, ma'am. Plabe! Plabe! Come out here! What is it, Ma? Huh? Oh. Hello there, Jake. Hello, Clabe. Tell him what you've done, Jake. Done? Clabe. We hung your old man this afternoon. You what? We hung him for stealing horses. They found out he didn't do it. After. Yeah. Uh, I guess the joke's on us, all right. <laughs> Ma. Ma, wait a minute. Ma. She's kind of upset, Clay. You better go with her. Somebody ought to kill you, Jake. No, don't talk like that. I said we were sorry. Well, I gotta go get home. It's getting kind of late, and my missus will have supper on. So long. Bothered by the Tillman hanging up. He was right? lynched. All right, lynched. But you'll never find out who did it now. That was nearly three weeks ago. I got a pretty good idea who did it. I just can't be sure. Huh? Who? Probably some of the ranchers out there who've been losing their horses. Benson and Duvall and Jake Kaiser in particular. Benson? I already got shot the other night, right in his own house. Yeah, I did. Just about a week ago. Maybe his conscience was bothering him, Matt. What do you mean? Well, 
Maybe the other two killed him to keep him from talking. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, he had it coming to him. Still murder, Kitty. You feel worse about Tillman, don't you? You know, there's nothing I hate more than I want you. No one told him, I guess, as he was completely innocent. What about Mrs. Tillman and the boy? Do they have any ideas? Well, if they have, they didn't tell me. Well, you've done all you can. Uh, Might as well be in St. Louis. Oh. I'd like to be in St. Louis, man. Why don't you go, then? I don't know. I guess I'm afraid of the dark. What are you talking about? Never mind, Matt. Matt! Now, how about Doc? Uh, hello, Kitty. Sit down, Doc. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Say, Matt, that fella do wrong. Uh, what about it? Uh, he's been shot, Matt. Shot dead. What? That's right. His hired hand brought him in. When did this happen? In the early tonight, he said. You know, it's a funny thing about that, man. Duval was shot through the window of his house with a fifty caliber rifle. I dug the bullet out. Just like Benson, huh? Yes, uh, yeah. I thought it was kind of interesting myself. That makes Jake Kaiser the only one left, man. Huh? You think Jake did it? I don't know, Doc. He's been sitting right over there in the car game since noon. Huh? Are you sure of that? Well... He was gone for an hour, but he was there when I left, and he was there when I got back. Well, he couldn't have done it in an hour, man. No. Uh, look, Matt, he's leaving. Oh, I'll be back. Uh, Jake. Oh, hello, Marshal. Uh, let, let's sit down a minute, huh, Jake? I want to talk to you. Sure, Marshal. What's it about? Here's the table. I'm kind of late getting out home. Jake, the ball was shot tonight. He was? Yeah. Killed the same way Benson was. Same way, huh? You know anything about it? I'm beginning to, Marshal. It's that Tillman boy, Clay, I know it is. Why would he do it, Jake? Why, he's crazy. That's why. Marshal, I'll tell you. Clay was took it into his head that we hung his old man. How do you know he has? Well, I saw him. Right here in town this morning. And he was here last Saturday, too, come to think of it. You talked to him? Sure. And he keeps saying that we've done it. Why? Now, don't you believe anything he says, nor Mrs. Tillman either, that they're both liars, Marshal. I've known him a long time to be liars. Did Clay threaten you, Jake? Sure he did. You go arrest him, Marshal. There's not much evidence. Well, I just told you, I know. You mean you ain't going to arrest him? No. Not yet. He ain't going to shoot me. I'm going to go kill him on the way home. Right tonight. Jake, you're talking to a U.S. Marshal. All right, you do something about it. I will, but you get any ideas of shooting him out of your head. If you'll arrest him, I will. And don't you forget what liars they are out there. You leave that to me, Jake. You hear? Sure. But not for long, Marshal. Not for very dang long. young Clay Tillman the first time it happened to occur to him again. Still, I couldn't arrest Clay for two murders just on Jake's word that Clay had threatened him. I needed a lot more evidence than that. And the only way of getting it I could think of was from Clay himself. So the next morning, Chester and I rode out to the Tillman place. It was only about 15 miles from town when we got there early. He's out back. He'll be here in a minute. Good. Miss Tillman, Duval was killed last night. All right. But don't you care? Several people have been murdered around here lately, Marshal, including my husband. 
Do you think Benson and Duvall were in on that? I didn't say they were. What about Jake Kaiser? You're prying, Marshal. That's the trouble with the law. It's always prying. What do you want played for? I thought he might tell me what he knows. You won't. We don't know nothing. And Clabe ain't shot nobody. He was in Dodge yesterday. Yeah, I know he was. I wouldn't put it past Jake to have shot Duvall himself. I thought of that, too. Do you have any idea why he might have? No. Well, here's Clabe now. Well, we got business. Hello, Clabe. Marshal? Yes, sir. All right, Clabe. You been hunting this morning? No. Nah. Put that rifle back where it belongs, son. Okay, Mom. I was shooting hawks with it yesterday. Left it in the barn. You should have brought it in last night, son. Sure, but... Uh, well, it was dark when I got back, Ma. I uh, didn't see it out there. I should have brought it in myself. What are you doing here, Marshal? Duvall was murdered last night, Clay. He was? Yeah, shot, same as Benson. Well, what do you know? Jake Kaiser thinks you did it. He does, huh? He also said that you threatened to kill him next. Maybe I ought to. Clay, don't talk like that. You know, there's a law against murder. They murdered my Paul. Where was the law then? I'd have him in jail right now if I knew who they were. Too bad you weren't there, Marshal. I could still arrest Jake. We don't know nothing about Jake, do we, son? No. No, we don't know nothing. Okay. Okay. But you'll hang for murder if you kill him, Clay. Come on, Chester. <laughs> I just seen him, Mr. Dillon, walking right up Front Street. Oh, Chester. It claim. It's Saturday and he's back in town, just like you said he'd be. Well, I wasn't too sure. Jake might have killed him during the week. It must have slipped his mind somehow. Well, I know what you're thinking. Clay's going to ride past Jake's place on his way home, ain't he? Well, a man's been killed each Saturday the last two weeks. It could happen again. You going to stop him? Get our horses, Chester. We'll ride out to Jake's. Uh, now? Hadn't we ordered a follow to Clay when he... No, it's Jake I want to keep an eye on. Mine? I don't understand. Just get the horses, Chester. Yes, sir. And be sure there's a rope on my saddle. We gonna hang somebody? No. Now get going. Yes, sir. Old Jake's just sitting in the house here. Plum unconcerned. You know... Save us a moon in the night. No, it's better dark. Just stay out of the way of my rope. You want to rope him? Quiet now. Huh? All right, Chester. Yeah. All right, grab the rifle. I got it. No. Let me go. I landed the woman. Yeah, I know. All right, stand up now, Mr. Tillman. You shouldn't have stopped me, Marshal. It won't do any good. Two murders are enough, aren't they? I was saving Jake for the last. I wanted him to sweat, and I'll kill him yet. Who's out there? It's Marshal Dillon, Jake. Now put that gun down. What's going on here? What? It's Mrs. Tillman. She wants to kill you, Jake. A woman? Yeah, that's a sharp spiffy. I think that'd do it. Uh, sure would. What? You killed Benson and Duval. And I'll kill you if I have to use a knife, Jake Kaiser. A woman? Going around killing people? Well, that's terrible. You hung my husband. One of the best men that ever lived. I told you it was a mistake. I said we were sorry. That's what I've been waiting to hear. Jake. All right, get his gun, Chester. That's right. I got it. Let's tell him. You're both under arrest. Well, as long as Jake hangs to you. He'll hang. But you'll probably go to jail. What's Cleve think? He knew about this when he found a rifle in your barn last week, but I guess he figured there was no way to stop you. You found the only way, Marshal. I guess maybe I should have told you everything from the first. Yeah. That is too late now. I'm sorry. 
Don't you feel bad about it, Marshal. I don't mind. I don't really mind at all. You want to know something, Miss Tillman? That's the worst part of it. All right, come on, let's get back to Dodge. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day and thanks for listening.